Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm bringing you the NHL 17 auction house. We're gonna be talking about some really basic stuff here. So this video is probably suited towards more of the casual audience or if you guys are just starting your NHL 17 hockey ultimate team career or paths, this video is gonna be for you. If you guys are experts, maybe a little things here or there will help. Not much can help from here. So the first thing is the auction house. To get to the auction house, you'd go to the marketplace and you can either go to the buy tab or the sell tab. I think that you know what the store and unopened packs mean, so we're not gonna really go into that. So for the buy tab, there are a few options under this tab. There is browse auction, there's my bid, where it shows your active bids and it shows if you're winning at the moment i'm still winning this oliver ekman larson and then when you check there's all these tabs there's trade offers so if you have a card up or if you send a trade offer in for something it shows there your unsuccessful bid so if you lose a bid it'll be there your unsuccessful offers if you lose a trade offer your bids one is the cards that you won and they were they're going to be under this category so if you're like where'd they go and your offers one if you send a trade offer there it would be so that's that and then your watch list if you go to a player and you hit add to watch list it'll be there in the auction menu there's so many categories to search from you could search from player type going from anywhere from contracts to players to arenas to collectibles to getting anything and then from collection type right now there's hut heroes legends basic cards which are the cards like just like a regular oliver ekman larson and stuff like that draft champion players and stuff like that and throughout the year there's gonna be updated stuff like team of the year later on in the year november's probably all this stuff like that's gonna be added in there and then if you want to find specific stuff like you want to find a wicked wrister i don't know wicked wrister legend you could go search for that and then you could even search by prices in the price here what's your buy now maximum and your minimum price is there again if you want to get really into it you could search by country then by price as well as with synergy and then the position you could do all that stuff and then you press y to search and as you search the pages go like this in previous years it took a while to scroll across this thing and people would just get really fed up and be like well this takes too long but this year you could just press the right bumper and the right bumper goes by so quick so if you want to get to that 60 minute mark to see if people are listing new things and to get the best deals you can go there it's a lot quicker and there's just so much stuff and like i said again you can get the easiest result in finding stuff one last quick method is if you guys don't know what things last price sold for they took it out of the game or for when you're in the pack you go to the hub and then you'd go to my collection and then you go to nhl again this is a really long process which i hopefully it gets fixed but i don't know let's just look at the bruins for example and let's say you want to look at patrice bergeron's last price sold so you would click a him and then you'd hit search auction house and then once you get there it shows the other patrice bergeron's up so you could look at all of the patrice bergeron's that are up and the cheapest one right now looks to be about 71k and you click a on him and you hit make an offer and when you go here it says right there last price sold 72k so this deal is it's about even i probably wouldn't buy that because the profit there to make is not too great but if there was one for like 60 or 65k then i'd probably buy that those are the basics for hockey ultimate team's auction house there are some other things to cover not too much for the auction house method there are other things in terms of sets or heroes maybe tips this and that for the auction house itself buying and selling those are the main things that's how you find the last price sold the specifics on how you search for things but if you guys enjoy this video please leave a like and i'll see you guys next time Who said you